If there's one thing that I hate about the video editing process, it's rotoscoping. I mean, it's tedious, it takes forever, it's boring, it's really, really difficult, and it's just, I just don't like it. It's one of the reasons why I'm not a big visual effects guy, why you don't see a lot of those tutorials on my channel. But in the last year or so, there's been a few tools that have come out to help with that process and to make it easier. For one, you've got Rotobrush and After Effects, which will allow you to do rotoscoping with just a few clicks. And then you've got Magic Mask and DaVinci Resolve, which essentially does the same thing. Now, I've never played with Rotobrush and After Effects because I'm just, I'm just not a fan of After Effects and I use DaVinci Resolve. So I have used Magic Mask, did a whole video about cloning yourself with it and it's actually pretty cool, but there are some issues with it. The tracking doesn't always work very well. Sometimes you just lose it entirely. It just goes all willy-nilly wherever it wants to go. The other problem with Rotobrush and Magic Mask is in order to use Rotobrush, you need a Creative Cloud subscription, and in order to use Magic Mask, you need the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. So what if you wanna do rotoscoping or you wanna do, say, green screen footage without a green screen, and you don't have either of those things. Well, it turns out that there's a tool that can help you with that. It's called Green Screen. It's a beta tool from Runway ML who make all sorts of modeling tools, a lot of machine learning stuff to help with both photo and video editing. And we're gonna be taking a look at green screen today, essentially what it's supposed to be able to do is the same thing as Rotobrush or Magic Mask, which is with just a few clicks, you can create a mask and track it. And probably the best part about all of this is the fact that it lives on the cloud. So there's nothing to download or install or anything. It all just is done in their website. It's done with their own servers, which is especially good for people who one, don't have video editing software that allows rotoscoping, and two, for people who don't have a computer that's powerful enough to run the rotoscoping and tracking tools that you would need otherwise. Now, before we actually jump into Runway ML, I just wanna let you know this video is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own money. It is very, very cost effective, by the way. So no money exchange hands. They don't know I'm making this video. They don't even know who I am. So with all that being said, let's jump into Runway ML. We're here on the homepage and you can see we've got a lot of different tools here, but we're going to be focusing on green screen. So let's go ahead and click start editing. Now by default, there is some example footage here for you to use like this guy doing the basketball and the dancer and the moose and the car and the phone and all of that. But we actually uploaded our own footage. This is footage that I got from ArtGrid. You'll recognize it if you watched my freeze frame tutorial last week. And so we're actually gonna work with this because I wanted to just make sure that there's no pre-processing done or anything. So let's go ahead and double click on that clip. And now that clip is added to the composition. So you can see our footage right up here. We've got a couple buttons down here, include and exclude. This is going to add to our mask and subtract from our mask. Here's our foreground and our background. So you won't really see anything if you look at background right now but you will in a bit once we get going. And then down here is our timeline. So like I said, you're supposed to just be able to do one or two clicks and it'll create a mask. So let's go ahead and click on his ear. You can see we've got a nice little mask started here, but it's nowhere near perfect. So let's click on his shoulder as well. We're almost there. So one more click right here should do it. And now we've got a mask. Now, it's not perfect. If we zoom in on his head, you can see that we don't have all of his hair masked out. We can try and get that, but I don't really have any high expectations. See, it's gonna grab this sky as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just click exclude there. Maybe right there. And that'll bring us back to normal. So now what we wanna do is track this mask and all you have to do is click this preview button and it'll start processing and look how well that tracks. What? I mean, that's, that's almost, that's, that's almost perfect. Oh, we are falling apart right there. So there's a way to fix that. If we come back, let's come back to where it's falling apart. Right there. We'll hit include again and just add a keyframe by just clicking in another spot and that filled it out. And then we can hit preview again. 
and you can see there's a few there's a few spots here where it's losing the mask like right right there and we're just gonna let this process and see what else we can find any other corrections we need to make i just saw one right there actually we lost a finger And we lost the mask down here a little bit. And right over here in this corner. Let's keep going. But do you see how easy this is? Just a couple clicks and you're adding to the mask or taking away from the mask and everything's just tracking. It's, it's great. Now we've definitely lost the head here. So let's click on the head. There it is. Lost a little bit of the lip. But that's basically it. You just start with a basic mask and it tracks it and it processes everything. And as it goes, you can find places where maybe the mask fell apart or lost its tracking and you can correct it with just a couple of clicks. And that's that's it. I mean, it's it's just holy crap. And then once you're done tracking everything, you can go ahead and hit this export button and you've got a lot of options here. You can export green screen footage. So if you have a green screen capability in your video editing software, you can use that. You can also add images as background. So we've got clouds and water and space, or you can add your own images as a background. You can also, export and this is only in the paid version but you can export only the alpha channel so you can actually use an alpha channel and then you can do a luma mat in premiere pro or after effects or even in davinci resolve so that's actually what i'm going to do here because i've got a video coming up soon where i'm going to show you how to use these alpha channels in davinci resolve so you know make sure you're subscribed have the bell rung so you don't miss that let's go ahead and click export and what it's going to do is it's going to process everything and then when it's done it will one send you an email telling you that the processing is done and two give you an option to download now this isn't perfect obviously no tool is for one it's not super super detail oriented there aren't individual points on a mask that I can click and drag in order to get the exact position that I want but for the fact that I clicked the mouse, what, 10 times? And I got a super, super clean mask that stuck to my subject like glue. I, I I can't really complain about anything. Now, one thing to be aware of is this doesn't support raw footage. So if you are shooting raw footage, you're gonna have to do like color correction and color grading in your NLE and then export that as say an MP4 or something like that, and then upload that to Runway ML to do your rotoscoping. So that can be a little bit tedious, but if that's the only option you have, this really works well. Now, like I said before, this is a lot like Magic Mask, which I recently used to clone myself. If you wanna see how I did that, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.